I'm going to be the premier of all Quebecers. With the October 3rd re-election of François Legault and his Coalition Avenir Québec, he and his party dominated the news cycle in the weeks leading up. Amid the political frenzy, there were also some judicial decisions that shook the province. Here are some of those top stories. 2022 started with social media videos going viral of a chartered flight to Mexico showing maskless influencers smoking and partying on board while Quebec was introducing tight COVID-related restrictions. Transport Canada later fined six passengers on the infamous Sunwing flight. The logo is in balance and equilibre. We always see the logo of justice, which is balance in equilibrium. Today, we feel that the balance has been broken. To the disappointment of Quebec's Muslim community and many more, the Supreme Court ruled the Quebec City mosque shooter Alexandre Bissonnette, who killed six worshippers in 2017, would be eligible for parole after serving 25 years behind bars. At the Quebec Court of Appeal, the legal challenge against Bill 21, Quebec's secularism law, continued, with arguments arguments heard from both sides on whether the law banning some public sector employees in positions of authority from wearing religious symbols while on the job is constitutional and whether it disproportionately discriminates against Muslim women who wear the hijab. A Quebec Superior Court judge ruled in October police can no longer conduct traffic stops on motorists without a reason. The decision found the practice contributes to racial profiling and violates the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. The province is appealing that ruling. Ce rapport-là doit servir pour que ça ne se reproduise plus jamais. Jeanne Camel saying her report into the 5,000 deaths of seniors living in long-term care homes during the first wave of the pandemic needs to ensure this never happens again, slamming the Quebec government for its response to the crisis in the spring of 2020. Pido perdón. Sorry for the ways in which, regrettably, many Christians supported the colonizing mentality of the powers that oppressed the indigenous peoples. I am sorry. Pope Francis apologizes to indigenous peoples of Canada for the decades of evil committed by so many Christians in residential schools as he visited the country in the summer on a pilgrimage of penance with stops in the Quebec City area. Hundreds of Anglophones took to Montreal streets in May denouncing Quebec's overhaul of the French language charter, which they say makes English speakers feel less welcome. Le projet de loi numéro 96, loi sur la langue officielle et commune du Québec, le français est adopté. Days later, Bill 96, the new law that brings sweeping changes to language rules, was passed at the National Assembly. In August, the provincial election campaign kicked off and was quickly littered with controversy. When questions were asked about which values, I shouldn't have answered that because some people made a bad link between that and our immigrants. In Quebec, our challenge is really about the language, not about the values. Premier Legault was under fire over comments he made that he wouldn't increase immigration because Quebecers don't like conflict, extremism or violence. When I say that Quebecers form a great nation, I mean all Quebecers from all regions, of all ages, of all origins. Still, Legault came out on top in the race, re-elected with a resounding majority, and in his victory speech October 3rd, looked to unite the province. Is it adopté? Adopté. One of the first acts of Legault's second mandate, adopting a bill that makes the oath to King Charles optional for elected members of the National Assembly after Parti Québécois MNAs refused to do so. on what's happening in Iran. They're doing the, the, the real fight. They're doing their, they're having the real act. And multiple protests throughout the year organized by Montreal's Iranian community standing in solidarity with those in Iran after the death of 22-year-old Masa Amini, who died while in custody of Iran's morality police for allegedly wearing a loose hijab. 
In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News. Next.